with the new 5.3 update to Neuromix, we got some awesome new Neuromix features. So in this video, I'm going to show you every place where you could find Neuromix and how to use the specific Neuromix features that we have available now. So the first big change is going to be in this middle section here. You used to always be able to turn it into a mixer. So you could press EQ and now you have a mixer, which was really cool. And then after that, we were able to get the, the really cool Neuromix EQs, which made doing Neuromix really cool, kind of like mixing with Neuromix mixers instead of traditional mixers. A lot of people thought uh, or maybe still think that this is going to be the future of DJing. But regardless of that, if you press down again, the new feature is going to be this one and it's called... It's called the Neuromix Crossfader. So now what makes this different is you have your bands here. You could go all the way up to four bands and all the way down to two bands. So let's say we go down to two bands. This makes it really easy to create mashups. So I'll have these two songs playing. So a really cool way to make mashups by just having these crossfaders instead of having to do two buttons or do things on both sides like, like we would have to do if we were using the Neuromix EQ. So to do the same thing, we would have to take the harmonics and drums off of one and then do vocals only of another one. So with the crossfader, in my opinion, it is the easiest way to make mashups. I recommend doing it with the two bands, but like I said, you could go to three or four bands and then you could do instrumental or tonal. So really great feature. I've been experimenting with a lot of different controllers and MIDI devices on how to map these. So that is the Neuromix Crossfader, really cool new feature. Next is going to be down here. Now we always had these buttons as a really convenient way to use Neuromix. It was always there no matter what screen you were in. But now we could do more stuff with it. So here, this is gonna be narrow mix. It's a quick isolation. Vocals only, instrumentals only, a really quick and easy way to control narrow mix for each deck. I believe there used to be a way, if you press the drop down menu, you can make it into a slider. But now you could just do it with these isolations, which is fine, it's a really easy way to use it. But with this feature, this little icon here, we could press the drop down menu and we could change this. If you don't want to use Neuromix there, you could have effects or you could have a beat skip. I talked about those in my other videos about the update, but Neuromix is here. So you have a quick isolator down there. The next feature that's really cool is the Neuromix effects. So down in this drop down menu, mute effects so you could turn it on turn it off you could do it in other sections i'll show you that but now when you get rid of the vocals it's going to kind of echo out the vocals adding some cool resonance to it so listen to it with it on so it adds that really cool echo it makes it sound a little bit more polished and professional when you remove the vocals by having that echo in there and now if we take it off this is what it's going to sound like so it just abruptly cuts it off so i really like the way it sounds and you could adjust how many echoes there is i'll show you that in a different screen i don't think you could do it in this screen next is going to be over here so we have our features here. First one's Neuromix, and then you have your other ones here. So we'll talk about the Neuromix. So here is another way to turn on that on and off that mute effects. And then you could do it, but you could do echo out one beat, or you could do echo out a third beat. I, I like it in the middle. I think it gets the best echo with my type of music, but you could experiment on your own. What's cool is maybe we will get other ones. Maybe we'll get a reverb out or a flanger out or something like that. That would be really cool. But right now we just, the only effects we have is echo out in different beat interview intervals. And then if you have it on, you'll see this light light up in green. Really cool. Really easy to know what you're doing. Drop down menu here. We could go to different bands again from two to four. I'll show you with three. It's a little bit easier to see. 
So now we obviously have the sliders, so you could take out the drums, take out the harmonics, take out the vocals like that with a slider. A good way to do nice smooth mixing if you're doing mashups, stuff like that, you wanna fade out different parts of the song, this is a great way to do it. Next is gonna be up here, these are isolators. So if I press the vocals only, vocals only drums only and then these other buttons are going to mute that so the big one is a solo and then the x is just going to exit out so like that really cool way to really cool way to use neural mix next is the feature which is crossfader effects so to access that it's down here and now inside the crossfader effects we have a lot more neural mix specific crossfader effects so i recommend testing these out seeing if these are good and which one to choose for your transitions we also got a lot of new ways to control neural mix with the controller and the performance pad so if you want to see how to do that check out this video over here thank you